Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining PancakeSwap using your Windows 10 or 11 based computer here in 2024 in less than 10 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you earn more and keep more of the PancakeSwap coins that you are out there mining so that you can build your holdings even faster. So before we dive into the video today, I always do like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, taking a quick look at what's going on in the crypto markets as a point of reference if you happen to be watching in the future. So if you aren't interested in this portion of the video, feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the tutorial then. But overall, as you can see, we are down about 0.36% today, which isn't anything too concerning, relatively flat. We are seeing a little bit of green on the 24 hour column here, but still mostly red on the seven day chart. Now, again, I don't think this is anything to be concerned about, mainly because Bitcoin only halved about a week, a little over a week ago. And with that being said, I do think we still have about three to six months before we're going to start seeing any major price movements as a result of the Bitcoin having similar to what we've seen in the past. Now, of course, because we are talking about pancake swap mining today, I do want to take a second to look into this coin a little bit. So as you can see here, pancake swap is currently $2.74 a coin, which is down almost 1%, putting it at about 105th place on the coin market cap. Now, if we take a quick look at the all-time high price here, you can see that back in 2021, it was almost almost $41 a coin. So very cool. That basically means there's still a huge potential for this coin to make you a lot of money if it just gets back to that all time high. Now, of course, that's just saying if, you know, if it goes higher than that, then of course you could make the argument that your profits are unlimited, you know, depending on how high it goes. So very, very cool. But how do you go about mining this coin? Because this is not a coin that's traditionally mineable. If you switch over to Unminable here, which is going to be the site that we're using, the link is down below. Basically, what Unminable does is it allows you to mine with the best and most profitable algorithm for your hardware. So with that being said, if you're not familiar with what is best for your specific hardware, what I'd recommend doing is going out to a site called whattomine.com. It's a great site that allows you to enter in your specific computer setup and it tells you what's best for your hardware. Now again, if you are mining with a 20, 30, or 40 series GPU, most likely you're going to be mining Kapow if you're watching this relatively soon after it was uploaded. But with that being said, I do always strongly recommend people go out and check what to mine just to make sure nothing's changed because crypto changes a lot. And who knows, by the time you're watching this, there may be something more profitable to be mining with. So what you're going to do is like get started with our wizard, which as you can see has basic and advanced mode. Now, of course, I'm going to be going with basic. I think this is good enough for 99% of people watching. But if you do want to specify some additional settings, please feel free to follow along with advanced. And again, I'm going to be using my GPU to mine today, but if you are following along here using a, a Mac or a Windows-based CPU, please feel free to choose CPU. But if you do choose GPU, you're going to see the next screen is selecting your algorithm. Feel free to choose what's best for you, but again, since I'm mining with a 2080, I'm going to be going with Kapow. And at this point, you're going to choose what coin you want to get paid out in. Now, I do like to take a second to pause and just say, if you get to this step in the process and you see a coin that's more interesting to you, please feel free to choose that coin. This tutorial still works with all these other coins and the discount code that I have works again with all the coins here on the site. But of course, since I'm talking about PancakeSwap today, we're going to be choosing that one. Go ahead and enter in your cake address here and please double and triple check that this is correct because as you can see if I delete this six it says hey it seems this is invalid please double check before moving on. If I replace that six with a five that warning actually completely goes away. So while this is still the incorrect address uh, unminable saying hey you are good to go. So please do not rely on the unminable call out and make sure you have the right address. This is now the final step here where you can enter in a referral code. If you use the link down below, the code should be embedded in the link. 
but I do have a code here, Bitcoin-Tips, capital B, capital T. The reason I recommend using this is it does help out the channel a little bit, but it also helps you out by saving you 25% on your mining fee. So here on Unminable, there is a 1% mining fee, meaning that if you mine 100 cake coin, you are going to pay one of those coins to Unminable doesn't matter if this coin is $2 or $40, if you mine it in a day or in a year, you're always paying that one coin per every hundred. And if you use the Bitcoin Tips referral code, that payment drops from one coin to 0.75 coins. So you're saving 25% by lowering your fee. So as always, if you don't want to use this, please feel free to say continue without referral code. You will pay that higher fee or enter in the code and hit next. And at this point, you are at the final step where you're going to choose your miner and get started. Now, I do always recommend G-Miner here as it does support both major GPU manufacturers and I've had a lot of really good luck with it. But please, as always, feel free to select what you're most interested in or you have had luck with in the past. I do like to call out that certain ones here only support one or the other when it comes to GPU manufacturers, so please keep that in mind. Now, go ahead and select download minor files and select the Windows 64 zip here. This will download the zipped file. Go ahead and extract those files. If you miss this step, your miner will not work. So please do remember to extract it. Then what you're going to do is come back to Unminable and select download the .bat file. This is downloading the Windows batch file that essentially tells the miner how and where to mine so that you can get paid in the coin you're looking for. So make sure you download that and drop it into the same folder that you just extracted everything else into. At this point you are ready to start mining, but I do like to take a second to call out that when you download these files, both the .bat and minor files, you may get a call out in your browser or even Windows Defender saying, hey, you're downloading an unverified file. Are you sure you want to do this? You are going to have to say yes, download unverified file if you want to mine. Unfortunately, there is no workaround, so if you are not comfortable doing that, please simply don't do it. Just remove it from your computer and look into some of the other videos here on the channel about using faucets, cloud mining, and things like that are different ways of earning crypto. But if you are comfortable downloading the file, what you'll do is go ahead and bring this up here. You can see I have my unminable cake kapow gminer.bat file. All you have to do now is double click this to start mining. Now, as you can see, I did get a Windows Protect Your PC pop-up. Go ahead and say more info and run anyway. Again, if you are not comfortable doing this, please select don't run. But at this point, if you are comfortable doing it, you will be up and mining CakeCoin using your GPU. So we are about 7 minutes and 35 seconds into this video. And as you can see, we are up and running mining CakeCoin. It is that simple here in 2024. So... Just a few final things that I do like to call out when it comes to mining with Unminable. As you can see here, everything's looking good. Some yellow, blue, and green text. No red, no errors. If your window looks like this, you should be up and mining. Now, it does take 15 to 30 minutes for your stats to show up on the site. That's completely normal, and if you aren't seeing anything after about an hour, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Always happy to help troubleshoot any issues that you may be having, but I would also recommend going back through the setup that we just went over to make sure you didn't miss any steps and got everything entered in correctly. And on the other side, when you are done mining, you're ready to shut your computer down, use it for gaming, whatever it might be, all you have to do is find this window and hit the X. That will close out the CMD window, meaning you are completely done mining. And the reason I like to bring this up is just because when you are mining here on Unminable, if you close out your miner, you are going to still see stats and possibly even payments for up to an hour or longer after stopping your miner. I can personally say I've seen payments come into my account here on Unminable 12 hours or longer after stopping a miner. It's a little strange and it can lead people to believe that you're still mining, so I like to call out that as long as that window is completely closed, you are no longer mining. So, with that being said, again, the links are down below in the description, which I do recommend checking out if you're interested in mining PancakeSwap or any of the other 90 plus coins that they have here on Unminable. So again, please, if you haven't already, subscribe to Bitcoin Tips to stay up to date on all things crypto and like and share this video with your friends and family so that everybody can start mining and building their crypto holdings as we prepare for the next crypto bull run. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video.